Okay, we spent today at Versailles. We are walking the grounds right now. We had a good time here. Versailles was the French palace built by King Louis the 14th. He called himself the Sun King. He was, I guess, because he was the son of Louis the 13th. Um, and he was succeeded by King Louis the 15th, who was the great grandson of Louis the 14th because Louis XIV's heirs had a bad habit of dying prematurely. Um, but, you know, they went on. And Louis XV was called the Beloved King. Um, not so much Louis XVI, his successor. Louis XVI was the last of the kings at Versailles. Um, he uh, was voted out. Voted out? I didn't think they were elected. Well, they did kind of an informal head count, and... Uh, he came up short by one. So. The palace was nice. It was pretty. It was very elaborate. Uh, of course, the most famous room there is the Hall of Mirrors. It was very spectacular. Big wall of glass on one side, looking out to the gardens and mirrors on the other side. And it still gets used for big banquets, for visiting dignitaries and things like that. And back in the King's day, they connected his apartments with uh, Marie Antoinette's apartments. And uh, they used it as a place for balls and um, well, they used the Hall of Mirrors as a place to reflect. Um, what else was neat in there? What did you like in the... Well, I liked the... Uh, they set up the history of France in a series of rooms and they had the date over each room for each year and it's fascinating because then they just had portraiture but it described the major events of that year yeah i was surprised they had so much napoleonic <laughs> stuff in there apparently after napoleon when king louis philippe was in there he redecorated a lot of it in a napoleon theme napoleon is kind of a popular guy around here um, what else i liked the ceilings Really impressive ceilings. Really spectacular paintings on a lot of the ceilings. Not sure whether the artists were like up on scaffolding or where they painted it and then they like right. hung it up there or what, but um, neat ceilings. And they had 3D artwork attached to the ceilings. It wasn't just painted in that style. Fascinating. They also had, well, they, I guess the, the part that disappointed me the most was so many of the rooms were decorated, not a, the way that they were when people lived there, but they just converted a lot of it to an art gallery, which, you know, I got nothing against art galleries, but I would have rather seen palace, you know, palace life, what it was like in the palace. Uh, and you, know, you just put the art in another building that doesn't have to be historic. But anyway. Uh, after we did the palace, we walked through the grounds along the Grand Canal and visited a lot of the gardens. And we went, what was the first place we went to? The, the Grand, grand, the grand Tri Trianon. Trianon. We went to the Grand Trianon, which was kind of like their country vacation house, which was, you know, a 40 minute walk away from their main house. But it got them out of the day to day life of, you know, kinging stuff. Um, and it was okay, and the gardens around it were pretty neat. The, the disappointing thing is none of the fountains are running, and all the statues are covered. and No flowers, except they, crocuses, but we didn't see those till later. Yeah, they've taken down all the leaves. Uh, it's very wintry here right now, so um, it's. I think I'd like to come back some other time of year and see more of the gardeny part of the gardens. Then after the Grand Trianon, we went to the Petite Trianon, um, which took us a while to figure out how to get into, but we eventually did, and toward that, and that was kind of neat. Um, and then what did we see? We saw the Temple of Love. That was, that a, was... Greek, uh, a Greek temple, a Greek, a Greek style temple called the Temple of Love. It sort of, you could see it from the Petite. And it had a statue in the middle of it. I don't know who that was a statue of, but... Um, it did have a statue. It did. And what else did we see? We saw all the, uh, what was your favorite part? 
favorite part was the Queen's Hamlet. The Queen's Hamlet. That was like a little faux village where the Queen used to like to, I guess, pretend to be not royal or something. I have no Almost like a farmland. Uh, they had gardens and animals. Pigs and sheep and In the goats. style of the, of the Hamlet, of the little outbuildings all had these, like, a, what would you call? S not straw roofs, but thatched or something. That sort of yeah. beautiful, though. It was pretty neat. Um, so that part was cool. Also there, they had bathrooms, and that was kind of cool. But uh, they weren't well marked. No, no, you had to have the secret, like, knowledge to figure out how to get there. And, and then you had to have somebody stand guard because the door didn't close all the way. Um, but it, it was okay. You know, it was still good to go. Uh, and then since then, we've just been walking the grounds, having a lovely time, taking it easy today. Uh, definitely recommend Versailles for future visitors. Great thing about coming this time of year was it wasn't crowded at all. We've heard people just like shoulder to shoulder being shuffled through. It was plenty of open space. Um, and gosh, outside the palace, a lot of places, you know, we felt like we were by ourselves. A lot right. of times we were in rooms we were by ourselves. It was, it was very nice. I would say in Versailles, the one thing that we didn't like is we got there early, we're walking around, but then the tour groups come and they're always you know, talking loud, not loudly, but they talk loudly. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the only disappointing thing, but they weren't in the, the other places. It was just the Versailles. Yeah. Palace. Things are much better when tour groups aren't there. That's just the way it is. Because um, tour groups bring instant crowds and loud talking people and yeah. Anyway, that's okay. Um, one thing that surprised me is they didn't have horse-drawn carriages roaming around here, which I really liked in Vienna. Not that we rode one, but I wanted to, but we just never got to it. Um, here, we didn't see that. Instead, you can rent a golf cart. I don't know what this is. Yeah, that just seems stupid. But although golf carts don't poop on the trails, I'll give them that. Uh. But yeah, that, that just wasn't our thing. But overall, 10 out of 10. Cool place. Yeah. Nice place to visit. Can't wait to come back again. 